Welcome to this session for Informatica Power Center. So uh, let me first introduce the tool Informatica Power Center to you. So Informatica is an, an organization which has been running for a long time now, established in 1993. So Informatica started uh, with its ETL tool that is Informatica Power Center back in 1993. And then from then we have had a, a lot of versions from Informatica Power Center starting from the version one now the current version which is in the market is power center 10 right so the scope of uh, informatica in the market is like uh, compared to the other gui based etl tools in the market informatica is the leader because of uh, some some of it uh, its properties like the high availability and the high scalability the tool provides you uh, provides the clients and on top of that informatica has its own uh, big data edition and has its own cloud edition uh, using which the clients can you know, uh, make use of the uh, and the license of the Informatica Power Center tool is something which can be easily uh, the, the the it can be extended to the other tools which Informatica provides. So the use of the license from Informatica is quite easy and is something which is rated as the number one support in terms of when compared to the other ETL tools in the market right so and the uh, openings in the market the job openings for Informatica power center are more than any other ETL tools because of its, uh, its growing demand amongst the different vendors of different clients okay so this is all about Informatica and this is an ETL tool which will help you for the data integration from the source environments to the target environment so you can easily transform your data and move the data from the source to the target environments like from any kind of source environment to any kind of data uh, target environment so the sources can be anything ranging from a normal database to a flat file to an XML file to a uh, social networking data to an unstructured file so anything for, can be used as a source to into any kind of target systems so even now it's capable of uh, reading and writing from the hadoop systems from the big data systems so this is an overview of the informatica power center now coming to the architecture of informatica power center this uh, power center from the version 9 onwards informatica follows a service oriented architecture so before this version 9 there used to be uh, there used to be servers there used to be clients we uh, were dependent on certain boxes certain systems where we are installing informatica so if the system goes down then your overall architecture comes down and you have to set up the dr and set up your backups to bring up your servers and then uh, till that time so the downtime was huge till that time your jobs will get impacted right so we have services installed on each and every node so we have the concept of domains and nodes here domains are the basic fundamental unit of the overall architecture and inside the domain we have the nodes nodes are the systems or the logical representation of the physical systems wherein you are installing Informatica and where you are configuring the services so basically your services application services reside in your nodes now if I'm working with my laptop and I'm installing here Informatica then here I will be configuring the services this will become my node similarly when you work in real time there will be many such nodes wherein you'll have the services running right? so your services are inside the node and your node is inside a domain okay so your services in Informatica that is the application services which help the Informatica power center run are your integration service and repository service these are the two main application services without which you cannot run the application that's your Informatica power center before understanding these two services we need to have an idea about what a repository is so in this in this screen you can see here below something called a repository now we need to have an idea about a repository repository is the centralized place where we keep the overall metadata of the system of Informatica power center right so this is nothing but a database a collection of tables which acts as a repository there we keep the metadata now whatever we are doing with the front-end tool if we are designing something like okay, designing a source designing a target designing a mapping overall design okay so whatever we are doing with the front-end GUI at the back end it's going to get stored in the tables 
Now that is known as your repository collection of tables wherein your metadata is getting stored your structure of your data is getting stored. if you lose your metadata you'll not be able to work with the application you, you don't have the underlying metadata then communication between the different components would not be possible because uh, at the structure of the data is not available you'll not be able to work with the data so that's why it's also known as a metadata driven architecture okay so you have the metadata in the repository this repository is the heartbeat of the overall architecture you cannot miss that now now coming to the services first the repository service you see here the repository service is communicating with the repository and we have repository service processes for that purpose now this communication basically is for managing the connections to the repository now, whichever component throughout this architecture, if they want to request something to the repository, they will have to go through the repository service. That is the point of communication. That's the center of communication. So all the communications need to take place from the repository service. OK, so if uh, some read request is coming to the repository or some write request is coming to the repository that needs to be maintained by this repository service how many connections have come how many connections are open if multiple write requests are, have come then how to queue the requests or if there has been any connection open for a longer time without access then how to close the connection so all this connections to your repository is managed by the repository service so that the metadata doesn't become inconsistent so the consistency of the metadata and management of the repository all these are the responsibility of the repository service so basically we be communicating and getting this metadata only when we communicate with the repository service any request we would be sending to the metadata for accessing the metadata we have to send it to the repository service so repository service is the service which manages your metadata okay now coming to the integration service integration service is responsible for running your overall job so your etl extraction of the job transformation of the job and loading the job into the target this overall etl is taken care of by the integration service and this is because you cannot run a job unless and until your integration service is there right so you might design an object but when you run that you need the integration service now this will be actually extracting the data from your source now it will be allocating the memory which is required to do all the transformations okay so and finally it will be your integration service will be responsible for uh, loading the data into the targets now for this the integration service needs the help of the metadata because as we know that your structure of the sources structure of the targets and even the structure of the transformations have all been stored in the metadata that's in the repository so when integration service is running the load when it tries to extract the data from the source it needs to know what is the structure of that source that means where does it exist what is the connection whether it's a table or a file or an xml okay at which place does it exist so if it's a table then what is the physical existence that means what's the connection and all what information uh, credentials it will use to connect to that source and what is the structure of that source how many columns are there what what are the data types what is the precision data length of each of those columns those all things it will access from the repository right then again same with the target when it has to load into the target it needs the structure of the target the metadata of the target as well okay similarly now when it will be doing the data transformations it needs the information about each and every transformations as well from the metadata so integration service while running a load end to end it needs the help of the metadata so it will be sending this request to the repository service see this tcp ip communication it will be sending a request to the repository service saying that i need the access to this this metadata and repository service will help get that metadata information from the repository and finally the data will be extracted and loaded into the target right so integration service is responsible for the overall load and this comes into the picture only when you are running the job not when you are designing okay so you this see this communication from the integration service to this big arrow where we are having a tcp ip communication with the client tools this left hand side box shows you the client tools we have in informatica power center you basically have four client tools repository manager designer 
workflow manager and workflow monitor these are the four client tools we have okay so repository manager is uh, we are doing from that client tool we are doing some repository management stuff designer is for designing your overall mapping your how the data will get loaded from source to target that overall design is designed in the designer workflow manager is for running your job when you have designed you need to execute that you need to run that job so that will be done from the workflow manager then we have the monitor from where you can actually monitor and see that how many rows have been extracted from the source how many of them have been errored out how many of them have been rejected how many of them have got loaded successfully into the target okay and your throughput what's the speed of load what's the speed of extraction so everything can be monitored your overall load can be monitored from here the workflow monitor okay so these four are the client tools which you'll be using and out of these client tools the integration service is pointing to only two of them because as i said integration service is responsible only for execution so you run a workflow from only these two places so that means integration service will be initiated only from these two places okay and then we have the repository service so repository service is communicating with all the four client tools see the complete package because uh, repository service is accessing the metadata so we access the metadata from all of these client tools right so we that communication will be always there with the repository service okay now you can see this connection with the sources now the client tools are also related with the sources because from the source you will have to import the definition also when you're designing your object you need the source definition right so if your source is employees table in the database so while designing that design in the designer you need to have the structure of your employees table so for that you need the connection with the sources as well similarly you need to set up an odbc connection for the relational databases or uh, whatever type of database uh, target it is flat file or table whatever so we will be setting a connection with the target to also get that target structure into the power center client that's the design right so we will have to connect to the sources and targets as well to get the objects metadata into the designer now we have the admin console which is a web based console and using the admin console we connect and we control the overall domain now domain is the overall the big fundamental unit which is controlled by the administrator and that is done through the admin console right so we use the https protocol this is a web based console wherein we just connect to the domain and the administrators basically connect to the domain and they are able to manage all the domain related objects if they have to change any domain properties if they have to create new services they have to change the properties of the services or they have to create a new node everything would be done here from the admin console so your admin console looks something like this let me quickly connect to the admin console Okay, so till the time it connects, you can let me know if you have any questions on this slide, on the architecture. Uh, Do you have any questions on the architecture? So, uh, actually, I wanted to. Yeah, hi, Gaurav. Um, now can we have like services running in multiple nodes as well? Yes. So here, the services can run in multiple nodes. As you see here, we have the integration service and the repository service, right? So these services can run in multiple nodes. Might be like in your architecture, you're having node one, node two, node three. Multiple nodes you can have, right? So might be the node one is having an integration service and a repository service. Mm -hmm. Node two is having an integration service and a repository service. Node three again having another integration service repository the integration service is running in node 2 only the repository service is running so your services can run in any node it's not compulsory that one node should contain both the services might be overall architecture they are just represented inside a domain so might be in one node you can have the integration service and another node you can have the repository service and you can also have multiple integration services so we can have multiple services in one node also uh, in multiple nodes also um, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Anything else? Any uh, other question? Uh, yeah. And uh, what about the uh, you know repository service uh, that can be accessed by multiple integration services as well? 
if if yeah, one, that's a good question like yeah yeah so one repository service is connecting to one integration service okay so when you're configuring first you are configuring the repository service then you're configuring the integration service okay so when you have created a repository service while configuring the integration service it will ask you which repository service you want to connect it to so multiple integration service can connect to one repository service okay so you can multiple integration services can connect to the same same repository service might be that you are having only one repository service and you are having multiple integration service all of them can connect to one repository service that is possible hello 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 yeah even i have a query hello yeah yes yeah. please let me know sir uh, how many nodes we can have inside a domain we can have any number of nodes there's no limit to the number of nodes okay so um, like it's all dependent on what is your requirement how much of resources you need because node is a system that is a physical system okay, okay. so if in your project you have a lot of multiple jobs running parallelly you need more resources more memory more cpus so might be that you will be configuring more nodes so you can have any number of nodes but yes the client or informatica will be charging based on each node right so the more number of nodes you add the more license cost you need to pay that's the thing but you can have unlimited nodes you don't have a limitation to that right? okay okay thank you sir okay fine thank you so uh, i have just logged into the admin uh, i'm just logging into the admin console so let us have a look into the console and how do the different server side objects are configured here okay so like you can see in the screen on the left hand side you have the domain at the top that's the fundamental unit and inside the domain you have the several nodes now i can have any number of nodes 1 2 3 4 more than that any number of nodes so here two nodes are there even though one is disabled but we have multiple nodes and see this is the repository service this is the integration service and this is the license right so you have all the objects inside the domain so when you are logging into the admin console we say that we basically this admin console is accessed by the administrator so when the administrator is logging into the admin console we say that the administrator is administering the complete domain because all the objects are a part of a domain when you are installing informatica you are actually installing a domain you grade services everything so this is how it looks like overall right so <clears throat> and if we talk about this client objects for that i'll have to log into the client tool and show that to you and i'm just logging into the client tool where you'll be able to see four client objects repository manager designer workflow manager and the workflow monitor so here i just logged into the designer and from one tool you can access all the other tools as well like if you are if you have logged in into one client tool the other tools are accessible from the same place so you see this when four buttons r d w m so these are the four client tools which you can access from here if you go to r that's the repository manager so as a informatica developer most of the times you'll work with the d that's the designer here is where you will be designing your object right so this is it and if you go to w that is a separate object called the workflow uh, manager which is used just to run your jobs okay to run your loads and to do other things like scheduling your workflows and all are also done from there but basically it's for running your load and m that's the monitor that's the place from where you monitor your load so i think that's it about the session uh, anything else you'll have as yes, we can end the session yeah sure thank you yep thank you